Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Nottingham Forest career mode. In this one we've got another four games and one of those is the FA Cup quarter final against Reading but we start off against Brighton trying to extend our lead at the top of the table and we also play Ipswich and Wolves in the league. Brighton are a good team as well starting this one at home and Baldock on this left hand side testing Bentley early on but it's easily saved but we do attack well as always and Tesh are getting into the box it's saved well by me Part, who I think was a goalkeeper that Forrest in real life were actually interested in in the summer before we signed Ben Hamer and then he went back. Um, but it was a pretty even game and not much happened in the first half of this one. Um, and it ended nil-nil. There weren't many chances, as you saw there. And I made a change at half-time, bringing on Demarai Gray, who has been impressive. But also, the equally impressive Burke went off. He's been brilliant as well since Williams left. I'm surprised by how good he has been. But Gray making an instant impact in this one. Getting the ball off the fullback, giving it to Oliveira. His shot was saved. And then Ebisilio followed it up for his fourth goal, I think it might be, of the season now. He seems to pop up with some pretty important goals. But Brighton hit back straight away. And a bit of good play on the left-hand side by Baldock. And what a goal that was from Manu. Absolutely lashed it on the first-time volley into the back of the net. And Brighton were through a goal again not long after that with Murphy, Jamie Murphy. It was a good save from Bentley as well. Um, it was pretty much straight at him, but it was a good save to get it away from the goal. But again, Gray getting into the box and playing it across the goal only for Oliveira to hit it straight to the goalkeeper. And Mox Dendera, who I'm trying to get into the squad, trying to wean him in a little bit, he came on as well for Tesh as we went a bit more attacking and his ball into the box and a well-saved header from my empire as well and then Stendera again getting into the area and hitting a shot just wide of the post but ended 1-1 in this one it was a pretty uh, well contested game to be honest I don't think anyone really deserved to win even though we did have most of the chances most of them weren't great chances and we went straight into a training session after that as well with the regular players and no one went up in this one it's a pretty disappointing one yet again with four C's but we also got nearly £200,000 from the FA Cup from going through to the next round and just before the next game I decided to change the formation a little bit try and play a bit more narrow we don't put many balls into the box anyway so I changed that up a little bit as you can see those front three there behind Oliveira a bit more narrow as we went into this game against Ipswich and as you all know I like to start these games well and the Ipswich defender gave it away straight away there to Oliveira giving it to Mendes some great link up play and then to Lansbury who scored his 19th goal of the season which is absolutely fantastic straight away in this game it's a really good way to start this one with a goal and we nearly make it 2-0 as well I thought I did at first but it was offside just offside as well from Lansbury who would have got his 20th goal of the season which would have been absolutely fantastic but we were at an absolutely blistering pace at the start of this one and I didn't try to shoot there I actually tried to square it but it didn't really go very well at all and it wasn't until the 30th minute that Ipswich got their first chance but it was easily saved from Bentley and this is probably the most comfortable 1-0 I've had so far that's how it was at half time I wasn't too concerned about um, Ipswich getting back into this one and um, they nearly give us a goal straight at the start of this half straight to Oliveira and then to Tesha it's a good save really from Gherkin making up for his earlier error but there Cohen the fullback cutting in and getting taken out again another penalty it's really it really is crazy but it was a penalty a clear one nowhere near the ball and Lansbury got the 20th goal of the season in the championship which is absolutely amazing I can't believe it look at that oh, absolutely incredible for an attacking midfielder he's worth about 5 million now as well so it's going to be a real struggle to hold on to him in the summer if we do go up and nearly score another goal there if Oliveira got his head on that but it went just over him and it was cleared but Ipswich got a chance as well through the ex-Forest man McGoldrick but it went well wide of the post but again I brought on Mark Stendera for Lansbury as we were comfortable in this one and you can see him tricking away here this is why I thought he was good um, as good as Williams with his ball play uh, and a little bit better but he did hit the post that time but we got another penalty absolutely incredible as Menez was scythed down in the box I thought I'd show the replay on this one as it was a bit clearer to show and also it was close but that one was a penalty he did miss the ball and so Oliveira stepped up for this one and he put it away for only his fourth goal of the season in the league but we took an unassailable basically unassailable 3-0 lead and right at the end Robert Tesher jinking away from a couple of plays putting the ball into the box 
but Emirai agreed to make it 4-0. An absolutely fantastic result away from home at Portman Road against a team that are very good and beat us on the first day of the season. So that ended 4-0 as we went into our game in the FA Cup, which is away to Reading. As you can see there, 10 shots to 4. We were the deserved winners of that one. Wait. And we went into another training session again some disappointing results really again four sorry not four C's I think three C's there um, and British some longer also wanting an increase in wages they haven't really done much yet so I can't really justify that but as you can see going into this quarterfinal some good teams still left in it but a good mix as well and we got a championship team so it's a really good chance to go through here against Reading and if you've been watching the previous episodes, you'll know that the games against Reading are usually pretty close. I think both of them so far this season have finished 1-0 either way. And Gareth McCleary there, the ex-Forest man, getting a chance to make it 1-0. But we make it 1-0 ourselves in the 8th minute. Embercilio losing the ball in the box and falling kindly to a Sombolonga who rifles it with a lovely bit of curve into that top left-hand corner. And then Burke again with a, with a chance himself who has been fantastic. And it ended up falling to a Sombolonga who made it 2-0 with only the first half of the first half gone. And it was 2-0. And a Sombolonga again with a great chance to get his hat-trick in the 34th minute. But it didn't happen. And uh, again, Burke, a chance in the box. But he hit it past the post. And to be honest, Reading were riding their luck a little bit. Astendera, who came into the side as well for this FA Cup game, had a, a shot well saved there. And that's how it finished at half-time, 2-0. And we were playing some exceptional stuff and really deserved to be winning by more goals. Really, the only chance Reading had was that first one um, with McCleary. And Osborne there testing the keeper as well. A fantastic save as we really look to turn on the style in this uh, FA Cup game in the quarterfinal. And Vidra there, they did get a chance there themselves to make it 2-1, but they didn't take it. And again, they were getting a few more chances as the half went on, but Piazon blasted it well wide. So I brought on some fresh faces, Mendes and Ebersilio. Uh, to get some uh, fresh impetus in the side. And Emersilio and Mendes did combine for a fantastic goal here as Mendes lashed it into the back of the net. And again, another 3-0 lead away from home, which we really shouldn't be giving away now. Um, as we look to go into the semi-finals of the FA Cup and a place at Wembley. But Rennie do score basically straight away through Ola John. Um, it hits Lenglet, so it's basically an own goal. I mean, it goes a completely different direction. Um, it might have even been going wide. Um, so... That was disappointing, really, to, uh, not to keep a clean sheet. But a Sombolonga, yet again, showing some great instinct there and some uh, some attacking intent, really, <laughs> to get through and score his hat-trick goal. Absolutely fantastic as we went into the last six or seven minutes of this match. Really in a dominant position. And Stendera also nearly making it 5-1 away from home as here just past the post. But an absolutely fantastic result as we do go to Wembley with an FA Cup semi-final. We don't know who it's against yet, but an absolutely fantastic result away at Reading. I mean, both games before that have been really close, and we did lose one as well earlier in the season. But to win 4-1 is absolutely brilliant. And we also had another training session uh, with some more, some more promising results this time with a B and an A. We went into this final game against Wolves in some great form, and hopefully we'll get another win. And for this one, we reverted back to basically the starting lineup we have for every other league game as Stendera was out of the side and Mendes came back in and he forced a good save out of Akimi early on there. And Wolves also had a chance. He really should have played that back across the face of goal. I feel like Wolves would have got a better chance if he played it back across to the striker. But we got a free kick here halfway into the first half. And this is pretty far out for Lansbury, but it's an absolutely fantastic effort. And what a goal that is. 1-0, an absolutely fantastic finish. Probably the best free kick I have scored so far. An absolutely brilliant way for us to take the lead at home to Wolves, who are a good team themselves, although they're struggling in real life. They have some great players like a um, And a good through ball there to Tesha, who has the pace just to get round the lumbering defenders. And he makes it 2-0 only eight minutes after we score our first goal. And we're in a really good position yet again to win another league game. And that is half-time. This formation has really been working wonders for us. We've been scoring so many goals in this episode, which is a great change from the last one, when I think there's only four goals in four games. But we also brought on Ward for Gray, who was tiring. He's been one of our best players since he came in in January. And Ward was yet again getting another chance through McDonald's, forcing a really good save out of Bentley. You feel if he if it wasn't in the air, he would have got a better shot there. But Sombolonga, who I'm thinking about starting in the next one, come on, came on, sorry, for Oliveira and um, see what he can show. 
But they're yeah, a bit of a scramble in the box, and we nearly make it 3 0. And Stendera also comes on for Lansbury to prove his worth as we go further into the season. And look at this for a bit of play from Stendera. He really is worth the money. At least he's starting to show it now as he scores a fantastic goal. Just so good dribbling and such a good um, centre of gravity there to get past all those players and score a goal. And only five minutes later, he's only been on the pitch about seven minutes. He makes it 4-0 with a brace. An absolutely brilliant way to introduce yourself to the City Grand faithful. And hopefully we'll be showing a lot more of that in the future. And Asamba Longa nearly making it 5-0 as well. Another good save from Akimi. It's a real shame we couldn't make it 5-0. We've scored four goals now in the last three games. So that's 12 in three. It's really a fantastic run we're on now and hopefully this will really push us on and we will win the league. And Jamie Ward as well is away for the next match and that is the table with 12 games left. We are one point clear off Middlesbrough and six points clear off third place QPR. Absolutely brilliant. And also just to show you there, Lansbury with 21 goals, 15 clear of our next player. So that is absolutely amazing. But that is the end of this episode. So if you like this one, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you're new. Merry Christmas, everyone, and I'll see you for the next one on Boxing Day. Take care.